Hey there, Pete Flood here with a real quick demonstration of how to assemble the K-Pack folding boat. Once you unzip the U-shaped zipper from the backpack, you will release the compression straps, remove the cross frames and the pump. Go ahead and remove the boat from the bag and then try fold it open, ideally on a uh, flat, level, soft surface. Reach inside the boat. There's going to be eight sleeves, eight plastic sleeves. You're going to slide each one. There's four in the bow, four in the stern, four on each side of the boat. This creates a rigid frame on either side of the boat. You want to be careful not to pinch your fingers. There's a, a good pinch point there if you're not careful. So once you do the four in the bow, go ahead and uh, slide the boat forward. There's four more here in the stern. They go very quickly. These will be held in place permanently once the uh, air tubes are filled with air, which is one of the last steps we'll get to here shortly. Now that you have all four sleeves in place, you have a rigid frame, as I mentioned, running down either side of the boat. You're going to create a third dimension with the cross frames. The best way to install the cross frame is to go ahead and get inside the boat. Just kneel down and use your legs to kind of hold the boat open. Now take the cross frame in your hand and you're going to want the part that's going to attach to the upper part of the frame to face you, regardless of whether you're in the bow or the stern. So if you're in the bow, it's facing you now. If you were turned around and you were going to be in the stern, you would just flip the cross frame 180 degrees. Go ahead and slide the cross frame inside the boat. Once it's inside the boat, you're going to want to pop it into the existing frame or the boat frame one side at a time. I usually start at the bottom and then just work my way up and around until all four locking C-clips are locked into the frame. Go ahead and slide the cross frame as far forward or aft as it will go, basically right up to those vertical stems you see in the video here. Before installing the cross frame in the stern, make sure that the manifold is hooked up, that all the Boston valves are closed on all four air tubes. Now go ahead and install the cross frame. Here again, make sure that the part that's going to attach to the top is facing you. Start at the bottom, one side at a time. Then go ahead and do the tops. Just go ahead and locate the frame and snap it into the cross frame, just like so. Once that's done, go ahead here again and push the cross frame, this time aft, right up to that vertical stem, one side at a time. Usually is the easiest way to do this. Go ahead and grab your air pump and hook the end of the air pump up to the manifold. Now you can get out of your boat and start filling the air tubes with the pump. The manifold allows all four air tubes to come up at the same time at the same pressure. This gives you a uniform fill so you have a symmetrically filled boat each time. The boat is, the air tubes are full when they're firm but they shouldn't be hard. They should be straight and firm, but not hard. Now go ahead and do the same with the seat. Make sure the Boston valve is closed. Hook the pump up to the Boston valve and give it just enough air so that it's firm, but not hard. Go ahead and push the seat down between the air tubes and adjust the nylon straps on either side for your comfort. Ideally, you always want to be sitting up straight in this boat while you're paddling. But you're ready for the water now, so go have a good time.